In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 4 from experience 10. Giving a test to a group of students, the grades and gender are summarized below. Let pi represent the percentage of all male students who would receive a grade of B on this test. Use a 95% confidence interval to estimate pi to three decimal places. To calculate the confidence interval, we use technology. From the resources menu, find the spreadsheet for confidence interval proportions. We're only concerned with the male students, so focus on the first row of the table. The sample size is then 50, the total. The number of successes is the number of individuals that received a grade of a B, which is 12. So we put in 12 for successes and 20, or sorry, 50 for sample size. 95% confidence level, 0.95. The lower bound and upper bound are then given there. To three decimal places, we have 0 0.122, 0 0.358. Using the graphing calculator, we we'll hit stat, tests, and go down to one prop, z int one proportion z interval. And the same values for x and n. 12 successes out of 50. Confidence level is 0.95. And we get the same two numbers.